you want to live your life rich with experiences because you're not going to die with your material things you're going to die with your experiences and how you impacted others and this is how you're going to do that I mean that's how I am going to do it Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hey, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us today for the A Midlife Traveler podcast. I'm Laura, and this today is another episode in our Women Travel series where we are discovering and sharing the travel stories, experience, and advice from women who travel. The traveler whose story you are going to hear today, her name is Tristan Edrina, and Tristan's going to tell you about her first international travel experience and how before she went, she heard a lot of stories that made her a little worried and advice from family and friends who were concerned about safety. But she's going to tell you her three experiences she's had while she was there. She went to Guatemala and what impact that had on her life afterwards, after she returned. And she's going to look back and give some parting thoughts and advice to that person she was before she traveled. So it's a great, interesting short story. And just to give a quick spoiler alert, um, Tristan is already planning her next big international trip, and she's going to be going to Nepal later this year. So we hope to have her back on the podcast to hear more about her as she embarks on her Nepal journey. But with that, I'm going to turn this over so you can hear the story of Tristan Adrina. Enjoy. So did you grow up with travel or did you discover it later in life? How has travel been a part of your life? I started traveling very early in life. My first trip, as I remember, it was going to the Philippines uh, when I was two um, to uh, get baptized and visit family and whatnot. That's where my parents are from. We did a couple family trips internationally, but in between my childhood travels and my adulthood travels, it was a big gap. And I just, yeah, travel has just been kind of a part of my soul. It was just needed to get out. Oh, I like it. I like that. Part of your soul that needed to get out. Yeah. So tell us about that first international trip that you took. Yeah, so I was very, very excited. The original plan was to go to England. That's how. That's why I wanted to get my passport, um, to visit a friend that was living there. And then she kind of moved back to the States, so that kind of fell through. So I was kind of upset, and then I got the op- opportunity to go to Guatemala. And that was my first passport stamp, my adult passport. <laughs> so were people supportive and encouraging you to go travel? My mom, for sure. She was... Um, always wanted to travel herself and uh and when she found out that I wanted to travel she was very very supportive but I've heard stories from I guess friends and family and you know be careful you know like the I've heard horror stories of uh people getting kidnapped and there are movies out there you know about women getting kidnapped and whatnot and being sold and scary stuff and, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, sure, I had that fear. Um, I was afraid. And this first international trip wasn't by myself. It was with friends. I went for a wedding. Oh, that's a good reason to travel. Yeah. So aside from the wedding, were there moments that just were really impactful to you? Yeah, totally. So when we landed in Guatemala, we settled into our Airbnb, and I was just like, oh, so what do we do now? So <laughs> we just... Um, decided to kind of wander around the city. I was in Antigua and just walking down those cobblestone roads and seeing all these old buildings. It was just very fascinating to me to see their culture and this guy who's selling tours and at that moment we were looking for food and 
we actually asked him like we're kind of hungry like where do you recommend us to go eat and he kind of walked us around the the city oh, and cool. it took us to this awesome restaurant where they had pots of stews out front and like a little sitting area in the back oh wow and i forget his name i think it was like Juan or something like that and was so helpful he was selling tours but he was just like out of his way go out of his way to take us to this restaurant that he liked and that was just so amazing that there's these people out there that are just willing to do that did you end up taking any of his tours did you have the opportunity I did not yeah unfortunately um, we kind of just went off on our own I was with my boyfriend at the time and so we just explored different things and we just didn't have time to go on his tours so how was the rest of your trip? Were there other cool experiences? Are there like a top three? So the first one I would probably say was one of the best things that we did. It was do a coffee tour. Ooh. Um, we went up to, oh gosh, I can't remember the name, but it was a, it was basically a private tour. It was just me and my boyfriend, and we learned how they made coffee from seedling to bag basically the whole process and it gave me a whole new appreciation for coffee another one we did was we climbed a volcano we were the only ones up there and we're looking for somebody to kind of take us around like go hiking Uh because we didn't know the area and we don't want to get lost and we were both really good hikers and so this guy comes up to us and he started speaking Spanish like I I only knew a few words and saying it would be like 50 pesos or something like that and I thought that's what we paid the uh, little kiosk that was there so we got up there he took us all the way to the top and we roasted marshmallows in the volcano and then when we got back down and he's asking for payment (laughs) I'm like well we just paid and it was just really confusing time and he was like no you gotta pay me he and like a bunch of other cars took us down the hill because I didn't have any cash on me so I had to go to an ATM and get cash to pay him so for the tour. So at any point, I must ask you this, I know you said you were with your boyfriend but at any point in this scenario did you feel unsafe? Did you feel you were being taken advantage of or is this just something that happened and maybe you just weren't sure how the process worked? I didn't know what was going on. I wasn't feeling unsafe but I knew I had the means to kind of get out of the situation, right. like, which is pay the guy. But I felt betrayed in a way. I don't know, like taken advantage of. I mean, it, it didn't really sway the way that I thought about the people, but. But yet, when I asked you to describe your top experiences, you still included it. I yes. mean, this is a really interesting is, end to that yeah, story because yeah. all of us, when we travel and we're abroad as tourists, Sometimes they do take advantage. I'm not saying this guy was, but sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yes. But you roasted marshmallows in a steam pocket of yep. a volcano. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that super cool experience. Yeah. It, it did end up to be not as expected, and it was kind of like not a positive end, but it was a learning experience. That's why I included it mm-hmm. as one of my top experiences. Yeah. Okay. So, so what's experience number three? Uh, experience number three, zip lining in the oh, forest. <laughs> oh my gosh, you did that? Yeah. Oh, I've done that in Costa Rica. That I is way cool. was so freaked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never done any zip lining before that, and so fun. The zip line in Guatemala, are there rocks around the tree and you go from deck to deck yep, across the tree? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We wore helmets and like we were in harness. You, you were clothes. nervous, yeah. but you jumped off that platform anyway. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. I can see why that's in your top three. Yeah. So how long were you in Guatemala for your first trip? Uh, ten days. So has that impacted your life in any way? Like, Have you brought emotions or stories or things from that into how you live your life when you returned home? Yeah, it was, um, it was a very humbling experience. Seeing how people live mm-hmm. with not much, and so it gave me a more appreciation for what I had. I ended up kind of getting rid of a bunch of stuff that I, you know, like didn't really need. It was pretty more materialistic. Um, I don't know, just 
I guess that's that's the thing that I brought back is just being more humble and understanding of others and experience more of that. Like I want to give more to other cultures and and. Did you catch the travel bug? Yeah, totally. Um, I looked for another place to go right away. Spain, I looked at the Philippines, South America, anywhere. Like, I wanted to, I didn't know where to go. What advice would you give to your former self or to someone else who says, I want to travel, Mm -hmm. but I'm kind of worried? What would you say? Um, Buy that plane ticket. Be open to the experiences, and you will not not regret it. I promise. That's awesome. <laughs> I think first thing is to, to tell people is yeah. don't sit on the sidelines. Just buy and, the ticket and, or buy the tour. I mean, you know, I, a lot of people worry that when they come back home, they won't have enough money or they may have lost time it's more worth all of that the experiences that you give to yourself and you give to others you want to live your life rich with experiences because when you're not going to die with your material things you're going to die with your experiences and how you impacted others and this is how you're going to do that I mean that's how I am going to do it yeah Stay curious, see other places, <laughs> meet new people. I'm getting all teary-eyed. <laughs> so now you know the travel transformation story of Tristan Adrina and her first international trip in Guatemala that led her to catch the travel bug. And her next stop is Nepal later this year. We wish Tristan well on her travels and we'll probably have her back on the show to share more as she gets ready to prepare for Nepal and share some of the experiences that she has while she's there. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and safe travels wherever you may roam.